and this is uh, our skate park. Pulaski's police chief seems to know everyone. As he drives through the area, he knows like the back of his hand. It's just an amazing village and it has uh, so much life to it. Um, uh, I'll miss it greatly. That's because the village is considering eliminating its police department. This past year, they received more than 2,000 calls. Now those calls would be answered by state police and Oswego County Sheriff's deputies. The state police out of Pulaski, uh, they have a large area to cover. Um, I was told the other day that the area that they cover is about 600 square miles. Um, and also the Sheriff's Department in, in their area. And, and obviously they have the whole county that they're responsible for. The mayor has said the elimination is part of a budget crunch. And he's confident the village will have adequate coverage with the other two agencies. But local business owners Mike and Chuck Deaton aren't so sure. I hear um, from other business owners, um, most of them are not in favor of it. They think that with the increased response time by the county sheriff and the state police, that that's going to make uh, you know the smaller crimes like shoplifting more acceptable. We actually have somebody here who who can devote some time and uh, and actually knows the local people that uh, that may be involved. They'll be able to voice those concerns next week at a public hearing. To come out and ask questions is the most important thing. How will I be affected? What will you do? And that and that's what they need to do. Still a lot of unanswered questions, some of which will be addressed at the public hearing on February 19th. Villagers will then vote on a referendum to keep or dissolve the Pulaski Police Department. The vote will take place a month after the public hearing on March 19th. Reporting from Pulaski, I'm Doris Scheidel.